Qatar, host of the 2022 FIFA World Cup, in a place where vision and hope have ruled the last decade. As soon as you enter Qatar's enchanting streets, you can tell that the country is ready to host 3 million people. Airports decked out with FIFA World Cup teams, stadium vinyl wrapped around vehicles, flags, merchandise, you name it. The hype is real. November 20, 2022. In the recent years, Qatar has flourished in the Middle East through theater, literature, music, visual arts, and exhibition. With Qatara, Qatar's vision to become a cultural beacon and a lighthouse of art has been realized. Open amphitheater inspired from classical Greek aesthetics and eternal Islamic design illuminate the village. Not to forget the opera house that is rapidly transforming itself into a preferred hub for some of the world leading artists and musicians. Katara is where grace of the past meets splendor of the future. Located about 35 kilometers from Doha, Al Bayt can hold over 63,000 visitors, making it the second largest stadium in the country. Taking inspiration from nomadic Bedouin tent, the stadium was designed and constructed by Dar Al Handasa. Qatar's scorching temperatures can be managed by the enormous retractable roof on the Al Bayt Stadium. This clever design has earned the stadium several sustainability certifications, including a five-star GSAS rating. But the stadium is more than just a football arena. You will find a five-star hotel and shopping center inside its massive walls. These luxurious hotel suites and rooms all boast balcony views of the football field in a breathtaking display of opulence. It's like nothing you have ever experienced before. In addition to the opening match, there are eight other games planned for the stadium. After the tournament, the upper section of seats will be removed and given to developing nations, reducing the stadium capacity to below 32,000. Qatar's commitment to sustainability is evident in this bold gesture. Named after the native tree, Al Thumama's design is based on Al Gahfiya, a traditional hat popular amongst Arabic men, an uncommon choice for a football stadium. Certainly adds a touch of elegance and flair to the Qatari skyline. In fact, the design is so inspiring that it was awarded the MIPIM. Architectural Award in the Sport and Stadium category in France. Just 12 kilometers south of Doha's center, the stadium is in Al Thumama, a district of Doha. Eight games, including a quarter final, will be played in this glistening stadium. After the tournament, the arena is expected to be reduced to 20,000 seats with a price tag of $342 million. 
It sits within a 50,000 square meter public park, brimming with greenery not often seen in the arid country. It's a clear expression of Qatar's environmental aspirations. A mosque will also be located inside the stadium, highlighting the desire to continue serving the community after the tournament is over. This stadium has already hosted six games during the FIFA Arab Cup 2021, including a semi-final between Qatar and Algeria. Throughout history, Qatar has welcomed people from all over the world. There is something for everyone here. It's going to be a wonderful time for travelers to discover Qatari culture and hospitality. During the FIFA World Cup, it is said to be an artist is to believe in life. And I can say with certainty that Qatar is a testament to that expression.